You have more questions. I should go. Yes, that is me. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing the temple. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. Nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Call me Alicia. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, Isu, who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? Was it difficult to find this artifact? I just had to keep my eye on it. You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Ah, good word. Was it hard to obtain the artifact? Its owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? Taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as ECU as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I. I wonder if Alethea won control of this place. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We each you see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it.
Alethea says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The Precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though, one with reason behind it, I believe. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will crop. There is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invitation was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well? What is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There is so much to learn. With this 
this knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. Duh! We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Alexios, choose wisely.